Good morning, friends. It's certainly good to be able to come back into your presence today and share with you a ray of hope by way of coffee and conversation. What a great way to get a new day started, a fresh cup of hot coffee. Today, my friend, I want to bring to you a devotion that I've titled Conforming to Christ Words. Now, the word conforming there comes from a Greek word that means to fashion or to fashion self according to or to shape. My friend, we need to shape ourselves after the word of Almighty God. In 1 John 2, 5, the Bible says, But whoso keepeth his word, in him verily is the love of God perfected. Hereby know we that we are in him. You know, my friend, the words of Christ are like a mold in which we pour our lives into. You see, beloved, when we repent and turn away from our sinfulness, uh, we must, in our melted down state, pour our life into the mold Christ has for us. We must, after we are melted down, pour our life into his precious nail-scarred hands. My friend, because you live your life totally in the eyes of God, it is a must to try to conform all you do to his precious words of life. Make sure that you live your life according to God's word, according to God's word that is living and alive. Listen, my friend, every word in his Bible applies to you and your life. Every word in his Bible should be your guide in how you think, your guide in carrying his attitudes of love and grace in your heart. My goodness, friend, all of the forces of darkness is against us if we're a child of God. And so we need his word to guide us and to direct us as we walk in this life. Our spiritual job, my friend, in this life is to go against the force of darkness. And we do that by conforming all of our heart, by conforming all of our mind, and by conforming all of our soul to the precious words and love of the Lord Jesus Christ. Today, my friend, I want to challenge you to allow the Word of God to be a light and a lamp uh, to guide your every step, and you'll see, my friend, that life will be so much better as we use His Bible for our roadmap for living. Pray with me. Father, today, thank you so much for your precious Word. And we pray that you'll perfect us by your words. And God, that we'll lean not to our own understanding, but that we'll lean, Lord, to you and follow your directions as you guide our life to be life more abundantly. And we'll give you thanks for your blessings now in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Well, God bless you today, my friend. Go out into your world. Hey, make a big difference in your world. Remember to smile as you go. Let others see the Lord Jesus in you. Your life may be the only Bible that some will ever read. Let others see Jesus in you.